let's hear also uh, from uh, Ekuba uh, Yale, Assistant Lecturer, Mining Engineering Department, University of Mines and Technology. Uh, watching this uh, uh, video and listening to Erastos, who has been on the ground and verified a lot for himself, um, what you have also been doing, um, what will be your you know, opening comments uh, mirroring this against uh, Professor Frimpong Boateng's report. Okay, um, thank you, uh, Sami. Um, I would agree with the Honorable DC that at this point, we all know the issues, we know the problems, and in fact, if we are to focus on the name uh, mentioning, it will not help because at the end of the day, if we are to really look at the issue it's not just a matter of um, an individual or group of individuals who are um, perpetuating this but this has to do with the societal um, um, uh, discipline okay the morals is a whole society issue okay and this is uh, something that actually any um, society that is corrupt would support now my issue is about let's look at uh, the the problem why are people mining illegally at this point and then um in solving it what are the uh, remedies that we could use now this issue is coming up mainly because we are experiencing environmental impacts okay and health and safety impacts but otherwise if it had been um, going on without any negative effects, there wouldn't be so much noise about it. So that is where the problem is, the impact. Mm. Let's look at how we are going to address the impact. And then another issue is why are people actually engaging in illegal mining? Because one, it is a source of income, okay? Um, someone who has no form of uh, a, a livelihood, any form of income, the person chances on this opportunity, why not take it? Because livelihood, obviously, is important to all of us. And then secondly, with all my research that I've done with the site visits, especially to the, the registered small-scale mining communities, I have gathered that, in fact, um, the way and the manner in which people actually want to do the uh, small-scale mining they want to do it right, are actually frustrated. So at the end of the day, those people, the system itself is kind of promoting illegal mining. Someone who wants to acquire a license has to go through a whole lot of frustration. Um, license that is supposed to be issued in about four months. The person will have to wait for about three years, four years, license not coming, applications, um, even if they are to be denied, they are to follow, they are to uh, uh, bring up some um, reasons why those applications are denied or even delayed. They do not get feedback. So at the end of the day, it looks like even those people who want to do things right are kind of uh, uh, discouraged, okay? And then the way and manner in which we are um, um, formalizing this whole operation, you are formalizing something and then we are not taking the views of the people who are actually um, 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 partaking in it. We are not taking their views. Our policies are good, all right, but uh, have we also listened to them, okay? The formalization process to them has been sort of um, bring your, your, your uh, register your operation to them, that is the perception. That is, it looks like that is how the whole thing is going. It's a form of let me register you and take a tax. Okay, for us, the individual who might have not registered the operation wouldn't have been taxed, wouldn't go through any frustration. And at the end of the day, they see that in fact those trying to even go through the 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 the, the legal way are actually wasting their resources and time. So the formalization should be looked at, okay? Um, it should be more of incentivized. That will attract people 
into into registering their operations. And then another thing, um, tackling the issue of um, uh, fighting the the the, the menace. I I would state that in fact, uh, it will be if not impossible, difficult, very difficult for the their country to fight these operations. Why am I saying that? If we are fighting something and is a we all have a common objective, okay? All of us having a common objective to fight it, it becomes easier. Now, if we are fighting something that uh, more or less is harmful to the whole society, okay? Uh, like uh, I would, uh, let's say, um, talk about COVID. People understand the effects of COVID and we are all against it. Now, we are fighting something that looks like uh, it's beneficial in a way to um, some group of people. So at the end of the day, it looks like Ghana itself, which is fighting this illegal mining, is mm. divided. Okay. Um, so, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, Akuba, we want you to uh, stay there for us. Um,